welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today I am destroying these palettes from Sydney Grace and Temptalia. It's the collaboration that they did. And by destroy, I mean I'm taking all the shadows out. So these palettes, I've already done it. So these are all empty um, and all the shadows in these palettes are just in there magnetically. So they're pretty easy to take out. And I decided to do that. I decided to get all these shadows out from all the three different palettes. I have every single one, Radiant Reflection, On the Horizon, and Quintessence. Quintessence? Gosh, this every time I have to read this word, it's so hard for me. Quintessence. <laughs> I have all three of the palettes in the light version. They also had a dark version and I really did like them. I was excited for this collaboration. Obviously I bought it. And between all of the different palettes, they did have a lot of similarities. I did a video on that, so I'll leave that um, down below if you wanna check it out. But I really just wanted to get more use out of these than I was. I had like favorites in each palette and because the color stories between them seemed like they could work together well, I thought it would be fun to basically create my own palette from these, like pick my favorites and just kind of create my one big one. And then I also decided like throughout the video and depotting them and that whole process that I would also just kind of make these singles. I just think I'll get more use out of them as singles than I will in these palettes for whatever reason. I also found like some of them were, I don't know, popping out of the pan or kind of like uh, domed in a way. And I don't know, it was just getting messy in the palette, even though I wasn't even using them that much. So um, yeah, I decided to destroy them and recreate them the way I want to. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing that. I told you I was gonna do this in a couple of videos back and a lot of you said you'd wanna see it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and just seeing <laughs> my process of picking out my own palette within these shadows that have already been curated from Tim Dahlia and Sydney Grace. I thought I would mention really fast too here, I really do like the Sydney Grace formula and um, if you are thinking of shopping, just so you know, they do their Christmas in July sale. I think that's like the best sale that they do every single July. July. So I know I'm probably gonna shop and get a few things. I didn't shop last year, but I shopped the year before that. And I really wanna try their cream shadows, maybe pick up a couple other single shadows. And they do like a whole week of promotion. So I just wanted to throw that out there in case you were interested in Sydney Grace. I really do like their shadows. I think they're really top notch quality. The mattes blend beautifully. The shimmers are really nice. They do more of like a standard, really great metallic formula as opposed to something really sparkly or duochrome. And yeah, I thought I'd let you know about the sale because y'all know I love a sale. So, um, Let's just get into it. I just wanted to do something chill. I do have a demo on this look, very simple, very easy, using some of the shadows that I picked out. But yeah, let's uh, get into the palette building. All right, guys, so I have all my Sydney Grace and Temptalia palettes out here. Just so you guys know, this is the Radiant Reflection palette. I believe this is the Quintessence, and this one is on the horizon. Okay, <laughs> so first things first, I need to label these. So that way I could always put them back in order if I wanted to do that. I personally just enjoy doing that. So to do that, I use a label maker. I'm gonna probably use some alcohol to clean the bottom off so that the stickers stick. Um, and I'll probably just label them, let's say, uh, radiant reflection, so I'll probably name it RR1 through however many shades this is. I can't think off the top of my head and I'm not gonna count. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do and then we can get to actually rearranging stuff. Thank you. 
All right, so here they all are. I have marked them all on the back. That was so tedious, but again, I'm glad it's done. I'm first gonna rearrange these like by color just to kind of see what's here. One of the things with these palettes, um, I was excited. I got all three, obviously, and I think they're really beautiful, but they all had a semi-similar color story, at least more than I was expecting once I knew that there were gonna be three different palettes. And I kind of just wanna see what's here and just see these shadows like that. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Okay, before I went in, I thought I'd arrange them in the colors. And this is kind of what I realized when I got these. I did a video, I, I'll leave it linked down below when I first got these, but I really love these taupes. I feel like there's a lot of difference in there, even though some are similar, but man, it was very heavy with these like cranberry shades. And once you get them out of the palettes and close to each other, like these two seem so similar to include in the same like kind of launch, to me anyway, again, that's just me. Same with some of these like blues and purples. They're all different, don't get me wrong, but they also all have the same depth to them, almost. Like, these all exist in the same spot. There's really only one dark shade. This one's kind of lighter, and these are all kind of mid-tones, you know? There's not a lot of difference in that way either. So anyway, I thought I would just share that really fast because I thought it would really give me, at least, insight of what they look like. But okay, now I'm actually gonna organize them, I think. <laughs> All right, so there we are, just so you can see what that looks like. Um, I tried to just do it by colors, I guess, you know, kind of fading into each other. And now I think I'm gonna go through and just like pick out ones I really like. I thought initially that I was gonna actually put them back in the palettes, but I have a hard time getting them out of the palettes and I don't know, I just like don't love the packaging of these for some reason. So I might put them just in my own magnetic palette. I'll clean this out and um, kind of create my own maybe 18 pan shadow palette and then put the extras in with my other Sydney Grace singles instead of again back in the palettes. I just think I'm gonna get more use out of them. I really think I'm gonna get more use out of them that way so that's what I'm gonna do.
All right, so this is the palette I created. I really stuck with some of those really beautiful warm tones. There's a few of the cool tones. I didn't put everything in here though. I just, um, I don't know. I felt like I didn't need some of the grays personally, but I mean, I could, if I was like expanding the palette, maybe adding in these three would be really fun. I also initially, I think had this, darker color in there as well. Those would look really great. I cut out a lot of the greens. I really stuck with more of the tealy greens that you're seeing here instead of the ones that had more yellow in them. Just for my personal preference, like what I think I'm actually gonna use. And also, um, you know, it's a little bit more colorful, leaning neutral for me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna swatch these out for you. I'm gonna leave all of them down below uh, where what palettes they came from and whatnot. So if you really want that detailed information, that'll be down below. But um, let me swatch this palette for you guys. All right guys, so there are the swatches. Beautiful, like such a beautiful palette. It kind of has that romantic secret garden thing going on, which you know I love. I'm obsessed with this like taupey shade. <laughs> Probably one of my favorites. I feel like Sydney Grace is like kind of the Natasha Denona of indie shadows, like it's that high quality to me. And you're not getting tons of like super sparkly shades or necessarily duochromes, but I just feel like they're pigmented, reliable, dependable, um, really well done shadows. Like they just remind me of Natasha Denona. And I think this color story is really pretty and I'm so excited that I got to create it from the existing shadows. I still think there's some fun things to be had, especially if you like really bright stuff. You know, there's like this really bright blue, there's the yellowy gold. There's a lot still in here, but I'm very happy. And this is way more my style and speed. I guess I can zoom you in and we look like we're in the middle of <laughs> a white space, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me rearrange these. Actually, let me put the other ones in my Sydney Grace shadows really fast, like with the rest of them. I really need to organize my single shadows. Like it is a huge thing that needs to happen. So um, I'll probably do that with you guys at some point. So look out for that video coming. Well, that really made my Sydney Grace collection a lot more colorful. Everything on this side is Sydney Grace, but um, yeah, I love to, again, glad I took the time to mark them so that way I can tell that that one is from the Temptalia palettes and can tell which ones are just from the normal line. And I really think incorporating these into my singles will be a better choice for me than having them in the palettes. I'm probably gonna still keep these at least for a little bit like tucked away somewhere, but they're not very easy to like get out of. I'm, I'm so glad though that they were able to be popped out. I love that about any brand, you guys know that, but um, yeah. So that's them put away and this is the palette I created. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me and if you have these palettes and you wanna give them more love, hopefully this will inspire you, but I'm going to get started on my look. Let's go. All right, let's get started on the look. I am probably gonna go super neutral today. I've actually done a look already with this. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna do something. So I don't know what I want. I'm kind of into even these two together. That would be kind of fun. I'm just chilling out today. Like I'm <laughs> very chill. So we're probably gonna continue that for the eye look, but I wanted to do some type of eye look, you know, for the video. I've been doing like rosy tones so much lately, but mm, should we do that one or that one? Oh. I'm being so basic. I'm doing these two. Like that's gonna be what basically I'm doing. So I'm taking that matte shade. It's just a nice light brown. And that's gonna go in my crease. I've already laid down a primer, that Sigma one that you guys know I love. And I'm just 
blending this in. I guess I can zoom this in. I tried using that Sigma powder as a setting powder today and I feel like it's made me very shiny. So I don't know. One of you guys suggested I use it that way and I was like, that's a good idea. And I'm not sure if I like it that way either. It's like too glowy for a setting powder, not glowy enough for a actual highlight. So I'm just blending that out kind of rough. I mean, like I said, I'm going so simple today. I think this palette has a lot of potential, like the one I made where I could do something colorful, I could do something neutral, and I love that about it. But today is for the neutrals. And I don't even think I'm gonna use an outer corner color. Like I think I'm gonna let this be the moment. Just this one shadow, because I feel like it blends out nicely but also builds up. So it kind of doesn't need the outer corner, especially too if I'm going more chill. And then for the lid, I'm going in with this shade here. I'm gonna try not to bring it up too high. I find sometimes with the metallics, which is what this is from Sydney Grace, you know, they're not as sheer as some of my other stuff. They're not as sparkly. And so sometimes they actually just look better to keep a little bit lower or, or not bring up so opaquely at least um, on my lids. And I'm just tapping that on with my finger, chill-like. Yeah, so pretty, so simple, I love that. I'm gonna use a little bit of liner on my lower lash line and I'm gonna blend it out. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the matte brown that we used um, on the crease and stuff just to blend out the liner as well. For my brow bone and inner corner, I'm going in with the Natasha Denona highlighter, the super glow one in number two. And now for mascara. All right, guys, so here is the final look. Again, don't mind, I feel like this forehead is looking odd like matte shiny it's so freaking weird anyway uh this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed just something chill i'm really glad that i didn't add something darker on the outer corner i was tempted to do it but for what i want for today this is so perfect like just enough to make me feel really great and pretty and you know more made up than not but not so dark that i'm like man i feel too made up you know like uncomfortably made up sometimes I don't like that depending on what I'm doing for the day. But anyway, um, super chill. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope if you have these at home, maybe this inspired you to get them out and play with them and move them around, revamp them, especially if they're not getting the use that you wanted them to or you wanna get more use out of them, this might be a way to do it. I really am happy with this palette and I'm excited to use it a few more times. I'm gonna move it into my like shop my stash, like everyday makeup area. And I think that I'll definitely reach for it a few more times, at least in the month of May. May before I try some other stuff out. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.